On this video, we're going to learn how to troubleshoot Ready Heater with the 115 BTU. I'm going to take the cover off. I already took the screws out, so it can be easy. What we're going to learn is how to troubleshoot the circuit board. I'm going to show you also a quick way how to make sure the fan is working, the igniter is working, and the photocell is working. And uh, there is a quick way to do it. The first thing, you make sure that this switch is working. It comes on. Once it comes on, then this is a good step. The next step is the following. We're going to jump the red wire. Make sure the switch is off. And you're going to jump this wire. We're going to jump it with the black wire. And we're going to do it very quick just to make sure the fan is working. Sweet. You're going to do the same thing with, with the igniter also. So I'm going to take it very quick. The igniter is very important to make sure it's working. And if it's not working, you need to you need to troubleshoot this thing, the first thing. Because without the igniter, this thing will not work. And to show you the igniter that it's working, you're gonna see the igniter is glowing. It came on, that's good. So we know the igniter is working. This one came on and nothing working. The switch is on, nothing comes on. You wait for two or three minutes, nothing come on. What we found is the circuit board is has a problem. The first thing we had is this uh, resistor. And as you see, the resistor was disconnected. One of the legs is out and it's been resoldered. The next problem was this diode and this diode supplied the 12 volts to this circuit board. This circuit board needs a 12 volts power supply. And to accomplish this, since you have 120 volts in, that resistor will supply the power to this uh, diode. That diode will rectify it and it's going to make it to a 60 volt DC. And then this Zener diode will make it 12 volts. So you have 120 volts come in. AC is going to be converted to a DC 60 volts and then the Zener diode will make it smooth and nice so it can operate the rest of the circuit. Now, there is a trick. You can use your own DC supply, 12 volts. You can do that as a uh, troubleshooting method. What you need to do is to hook, uh, connect the negative side into this black wire. Make sure that you use 5 amp fuse in between just in case if something wrong happened. And you disconnect this diode and you use the positive supply here, the positive, the positive wire, into this Zener diode. So you're going to have a 12 volts uh, DC supply. You test your circuit and you make sure it's working. Once it's working, you, then you troubleshoot why it's coming, what's making the problem. Most of the time, the problem is on this resistor and that diode and the Zener diode. Most of the time, these are common problems, unless something wrong, different happened. Now... <clears throat> How that thing work? You have a Schmidt trigger that has been uh, the input for this for this Schmidt trigger is the photocell. So if the photocell gives the signal to the Schmidt trigger, the Schmidt trigger will trigger the optical chips, and you have two of them, one for the motor and the other one for the trigger. This is you sorry for the igniter. So you have two triac. Those two triac control the motor and the igniter. Those two triac has been controlled by the optical chip. <coughs> it's an MOC 3023. And then you have the Schmidt trigger. The Schmidt trigger just making sure that everything, all the inputs is within the threshold so it can work fine. All the inputs is working good. Now I'm going to show you also that you can disconnect this trigger while the uh, the heater working because you just need it for the few seconds at the beginning and th then you can disconnect it 
and also I'm going to show you that we're going to disconnect the photo cell and it's going to see what kind of uh, uh, what kind of effect it's going to do. I will also disconnect the uh, blower fan and we're going to see what kind of effect. So we're going to do uh, troubleshooting, very quick troubleshooting. I just want to show you one thing really important to know that when you turn the AC on you should see the igniter comes on. This is really important. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to disconnect I'm going to disconnect, sweet, smoking. Uh, very quick, I'm going to disconnect that igniter. And we're going to see what kind of effect it's going to do. Turn it on. As you see, the igniter is not coming on. Let's see what's going to happen. As you see, the cursing comes on, and then the logic board tells the fan to comes on uh, to turn it off. The AC power supply is still on. I'm going to turn it off. We are going to reconnect the igniter, and then I'm going to disconnect the motor. Let's see what kind of effect it's going to do. AC is on. The igniter is on. The fan is not on. Look what's going to happen. Sweet. The circuit board for safety turns it off. Then I'm going to turn it on. Now, I'm going to reconnect the motor. And then I'm going to disconnect the photo cell. This photo cell is disconnected. Let's see. Turn the AC on. Sweet, the igniter is on. Nice. The logic board. It sees that there is no flame. And the logic board assumes that there is no flame. That means I need to turn the fan off. This puppy is smoking really bad. Anyways, so I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna reconnect my photo cell. I'm gonna show you very quick how to troubleshoot the photo cell. The photo cell you really need this guy to help you to substitute the flame. And to do it, You need to reconnect, you need to connect your multimeter, put it in arms, One lead, and I'm going to connect the other lead, and as you can see, it reads 274 ohms. It's going to fluctuate because it's a photo cell, and watch what's going to happen. Nice, 9 ohms, sorry, 9 kilo ohms into 4 kilo ohms, it fluctuates, and I'm going to do it again. What I need to show you here that the photocell changed the resistance, that means it's working. So this step is finished. And by the way, you can just you can you don't have to stick with which wire it goes to 
they are interchangeable. And uh, it's working fine. Also, one of the things that you need to know is you need to read 12 volts. I'm going to connect this wire into the black wire here. We're going to read the DC. You should read 12 volts DC at the Zinner diode. So I'm going to show you how much. some reason it's not working I think my lead is not really tight but you should see 12 volts DC right there this is your Zener diode you should see DC volts <coughs> now the bottom line you need to know that this triac controls this motor and that triac controls the igniter this triac controlled by this optical chip and the other one controlled by this chip and the Schmidt trigger control both of them basically the common problem is the 12 volts is missing and you're gonna hear some guys they're telling you that hey my heater works for like an hour or two and then it will be turned off by itself and sometimes they will tell you it will work the next day what happened is the 12 volts DC for some reason it was missing you need to troubleshoot Make sure this uh, soldering points, they are solid, good. You have a good contact. And if I'm in your shoes, I will replace that diode and this diode too. They are common failure in the circuit board. I hope this uh, video will help you to troubleshoot very quick your heater. Thank you.